All right, it was a quickly changing weather day here across southeast Georgia and the low country. We started warm, humid, muggy. Our temperatures reached 78 degrees. Then during the early to mid afternoon, we saw showers and thunderstorms race across southeast Georgia and the low country. They arrived in Savannah shortly after 3 p.m. This is how it looked. A stormy sky. Thank you to Craig Bruce for posting this to the U Local Georgia and Low Country Facebook page. Now, some of the storm reports that we saw, they were minimal across our area. Maybe one little wind gust down into Pierce County. Otherwise, we stayed severe weather free, just that low end threat. However, there was a supercell thunderstorm that produced a tornado and there was significant damage reported in the Mystic area. So that is to the northeast of Tifton and sort of down to the west southwest of Douglas, Georgia. And the National Weather Service will head out there tomorrow to do a damage survey. But they are saying that was a tornado. Right now, our Hotel Tybee camera, cloudy skies, some rain continues out on the islands. And let's show you Storm Tracker Radar Network, the back edge of the rain trying to make its way just east of I-95 through about downtown Savannah. If you're down toward Skidaway Island, Isle of Hope, Tybee, Wilmington, toward Bluffton and Hilton Head, still some rain in your direction. Let's expand the view here to take a look across the entire area. Inland counties are drying out. Still some rain begin to spill back toward Pierce and Wayne counties. No severe weather expected this evening or tonight. Instead, the rain will just gradually come to an end over the next couple hours. A wider perspective here, along with the rain ending, we have a cold front blasting through our area, and here comes the cold air. You'll really feel that by tomorrow morning. We are looking at temperatures down into the low 40s, and it's already showing up to our northwest. 43 in Atlanta, 53 in Macon, and we're mid to upper 60s through out our viewing area, but that will change drastically by late evening down into the 50s. And then that free fall will send our temperatures to the low 40s by morning. Initially some clouds and showers and then we dry out this evening. Gradually decreasing clouds overnight. We'll probably keep mainly cloudy skies through midnight and then start to see the clouds break up after that. Rain chances we dry out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. However, Saturday and Sunday we're likely going to have to raise these rain chances as a coastal low is set to develop. Let's go through future cast the rest of this evening. The white and gray represents cloud cover. That begins to erode after midnight. Colder temperatures, a jacket or extra layers tomorrow morning, and there is nothing warm about tomorrow afternoon. The sunshine is a plus, the minus, it is quite a bit colder. We will be below average for temperatures the next several days. Our weekend planners, we start to look ahead. 58 degrees on Saturday, 60 on Sunday, and yes, that says rain shower Saturday. Potential for periods of rain on Sunday. And let's check out our certified most accurate forecast. There's the cooler temps, 54 for Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday and Friday morning, potential for frost or freeze here locally. That's all the way into Savannah, so a bit colder inland. And then the weekend forecast, there's the rain showers, which may actually spill into Monday. Right now, Christmas Eve day dry with highs around 70. Check out our certified most accurate forecast.